What's up everybody, Dr. Shah here. I got something a little bit different for you guys today. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Fenty Skin Line from Rihanna. So this is a new skincare brand or new skincare line that just came out. Uh, they sent me a message, they wanted me to check it out. So I got the product in advance. I haven't looked at anybody else's reviews of the product right now because I just wanna give you guys my honest, unbiased perspective from a dermatology standpoint. First thing I wanna say that this is a three-step skincare routine. And if you guys follow me anywhere, you know that I always talk about cleanse, treat, protect. And this is a three-step skincare routine, which I really love about any skincare routine. I think it should be three steps. You can get up to four steps if you need to, but anything longer than that, I think it's just way too much. I'm gonna be breaking down all three steps that they have here. I'm gonna tell you if I think it's worth it. I'm gonna tell you what's good about this line. I'm gonna tell you what's bad about this line. So here we go. So first up, let's talk about the packaging here. So the packaging like might be the coolest thing about this product here. So it comes in this really cool layout here. It's pretty simple. It shows you that it's like a three-step skincare routine. The box opens up right to the three products, which is pretty neat. So for the review, uh, for the packaging, I'm actually gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I really like the packaging. So first you have the, uh, the Total Cleanser, uh, which is both a cleanser and a makeup remover. So cleanser and makeup remover in one, so almost like a double cleanse type of cleanser that we have here. And it comes in this like almost like lilac type of um, color here. So it actually has a really pretty cool mechanism. It does this thing where it clicks back and forth to try to dispense the moisturizer. So it's, it's pretty neat, pretty unique. So, so I really like the packaging on this and that's uh, step one. So step two, they have the toner here. They call this fat water. They call this a pore refining toner here. Uh, pretty cool and aesthetic packaging as well for this one. And then lastly, they have uh, this moisturizer that doubles as a sunscreen here. It comes in a box like, this has the coolest packaging of all of them. It actually comes in two pieces, um, two pieces like this. And so this right over here is gonna be reusable. Um, and what you're gonna do actually is you're gonna pop this cartridge into here. And so at that point, you can kind of, uh, you pop it in and then you lock it down. And then you use this as essentially, you know, it's gonna dispense from this tip here, which is pretty cool. And then you can just pop it out, pull it out, and then you can change this out. So this is actually a refillable mechanism here. So this one's like pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. So that's probably the coolest of all the packaging. So let's talk about the actual products. So first, let's talk about the cleanser here, okay? So the cleanser, I actually like the cleanser a lot. It's, you know, it's a great option as far as the cleanser goes. You know, it's both hydrating, you know, it's pretty thick, you know, you feel pretty clean after using it. I don't wear makeup, so I can't really tell you how it removes makeup, but overall, I think this is a pretty good product. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an ingredient breakdown for this product here. So it's gonna be a good cleanser, it has a lot of ingredients that are good at kind of breaking down dirt and grime that builds up throughout the day. It has vitamin E in it that's beneficial to the skin. It serves as an antioxidant. It has ginkgo biloba, which is beneficial to the skin as well. One of the ingredients I don't love in it, of course you guys know, fragrances, perfume. Uh, it's a little bit lower on the ingredient list. However, as I've said in the past, it doesn't add anything beneficial to your skincare routine. Only about 4% of the population is allergic to fragrance. So in a cleanser, I think it's totally okay just because cleansers are only in contact with your skin for less than a minute. And you're not likely to develop sensitization to something that has perfume in it as far as the cleanser goes. So for the cleanser, I, I like this one a lot. Like I said, you know, similar to what I've said about Cetaphil in the past, uh, the Cetaphil Daily Cleanser um, has fragrance and so it loses some points in my book for that. But otherwise, I, I think this is overall a, a good product and, and a beneficial product. I think people will actually like this one a lot. So let's talk about the toner. Uh, first of all, as you guys know, I've said this past a bunch of times, you don't need toner in your skincare routine. I'm not a big fan of toner unless it adds an active ingredient like glycolic acid or niacinamide or beta hydroxy acid. And so if you have a toner that's gonna have beneficial properties that benefit your skin, then of course use it. But if it if it doesn't really add much, I don't think toners do a lot for your skin. And a lot of times they're just overly stripping that causes more oil production. Long-term will lead detrimental effects on your skin. Very like viscous, you know, overall, you can just apply this with your fingertips if you wanted to, but also, you know, you can apply it with just, you know, a cotton pad as well. So um, I, I do like the toner uh, texture a lot. So the second ingredient in here is actually witch hazel water, which I don't really know what the water 
water component of the witch hazel is, but as we know, witch hazel is very stripping to the skin. I think a lot of skincare brands like to use witch hazel because it has this very like calming and soothing effect when you put it on the skin initially, but long-term it's very stripping. It's not gonna have a benefit to your skin long-term. And so skincare brands like to use this because as soon as you use it, you like it and you're kind of roped in at that point, but it really doesn't have a benefit to the skin. So then the fourth ingredient is actually niacinamide. Niacinamide I really like a lot in skincare products because it's, uh, I did a whole video on niacinamide that you guys can go check out. But um, why I like niacinamide is because niacinamide has anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it helps with oil production. It has anti-acne properties, anti-redness properties. And so it really has just a lot of benefits to the skin that have been proven over many, many years. And so niacinamide in this is gonna be beneficial to the skin for sure. And then a little bit lower down on the list, they have uh, perfume in it. And this is a leave-on product, which I don't really like fragrances in leave-on products overall. And so this one, I, I just don't think it's like a necessary part of your skincare routine overall. So I, I wish they would have put something in here um, that would have been sort of beneficial to everybody's skin type. I think something like a glycolic toner or a salicylic acid toner would have been a nice addition to this that I think a lot of people could have benefited from. So overall, you know, that, that one is, is not my favorite. So let's talk about this one, which I love the fact that they released a skincare line and then one, and then in their first sort of rendition of the skincare line, they had a sunscreen in the skincare line and it's SPF 30. So I love, love, absolutely love that um, because I think it's gonna encourage people, especially, uh, you know, people with skin of color to use a sunscreen because this one blends super well with your skin. Um, it is a, it is a chemical sunscreen. But if you guys have seen me go live in the past, I've talked about chemical sunscreens versus physical sunscreens in the past. Physical sunscreens have zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. They tend to be a little bit better for people with very sensitive skin. Um, however, they don't blend that well with the skin a lot of times. There are formulations of it that do blend pretty well with the skin. But overall, um, the, the chemical sunscreens are gonna blend better with the skin. Um, the only, so there was a study that was done in JAMA Dermatology that showed a lot of the chemical sunscreens are absorbed more into the body than we initially anticipated. However, the only one that I'm currently avoiding at this time is oxybenzone. Oxybenzone, um, oxybenzone is a common cause of photoallergic reactions as well as its absorption in the body is a little bit concerning to me at this time. And so I'm avoiding oxybenzone in my sunscreen products, but the other chemical sunscreens I'm not avoiding. This product does not have oxybenzone, so I do like that aspect of it. The active ingredients in this one are avobenzone, homosalate, and octosalate, which are probably okay in the long term. It is SPF 30, like I said, which I love, and it's extremely hydrating. So it doubles as a moisturizer and a sunscreen, which I love when, when, when sunscreens do that. So a couple other ingredients that I wanna highlight in this, niacinamide, again, very beneficial to the skin. Aloe, which is very good, has anti-inflammatory properties. It does have hyaluronic acid, pretty high up on the ingredient list, which you know has that plumping effect. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that gets too excited about hyaluronic acid in my products, and so I kind of, call that a wash in my opinion. But the two main things I like in this are the niacinamide, the aloe, and actually actually has vitamin E in it, which I like as well. A little bit lower down on the ingredients list, they did add fragrance, linalool, limonene, all of which can cause a little bit of sensitization, irritation, allergy in some people. And so this may not be the best product for sensitive skin overall. Overall, I like the face wash. I hate the toner and I like but don't love the sunscreen. So I like the packaging overall. I think it's really cool. Personally, um, I think you can do better with you know some other over-the-counter, less expensive products for your skincare routine. I probably wouldn't be purchasing this, but I think that if you really like Rihanna, you want to support Rihanna, I think that overall this this does the job. So so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any other questions, leave them below. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, I really appreciate your support.